What is going on everybody? Mattitude22 back at you guys with another video. So today we have the World of Nintendo Bowser's Lava Battle Set. Uh, you can see me in the reflection right there. Right there. I'm in the reflection. Uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, long time. I've been looking for Bowser. Uh, he came out I think in the first wave of the World of Nintendo figures. <clears throat> And uh, he didn't stick around too long. He quickly disappeared. And then he went up in value. I think when people realized the SHF Bowser was, was going to be pretty small and pretty disappointing. Uh, this guy became the go-to Bowser. It was really, really hard to find. But then they, they re-released him. So we got this. We got a Mario. We got a Baba, Baba Bomb. Baba Bomb. Baba Bomb. That's how you say it, right? Yeah. So we're going to take a look at that. Take a quick look at the packaging first. So you got World of Nintendo right there on the top. Bowser's Lava Battle Set. Pretty cool. Super Mario Jazz. You got a nice shot of Bowser on the side. And on the top. And on Mario with the with the Babam right there. So pretty cool. And on the back you can see just the articulation, so Mario 11, 3, and Bowser 9 points, and you get a brief little bio, of course, if you want to read that, go ahead and pause this video now, and there's somebody's name. So, that is it, pretty much, for the packaging, uh, let's get the Mario and the bomb out of the way first. So Mario, so I already have the Mario they released single carded, so this one is, is going to my daughter, so she's uh, excited for that. Alright, so you, Mario right there, you can see nice paint on the hat, face sculpt looks good, looks decent, paint is kind of clean all over, so no no real issues with that. He stands, He stands very well. Can't argue with that. Uh, articulation, head moves side to side. Get a forward and back. Arm moves up to here. Moves in this far, out that far. Bend in the elbow. The hand swivels around. Hips kind of move out, not really far though. He kicks barely forward at all. Get like a slight bend in the knee, and that's pretty much it. For Mario, for the bob -omb. again, nice, nice paint, face looks good, um, paint work is solid, not much to them, the feet do kind of swivel, they don't really move, and then this, you can twist that at the back, and then that's about it, you can see the wick is a little burnt, so, very limited articulation on this guy, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's okay, you, you know, you, you expect him to have kind of limited articulation, so it doesn't bother me too much. All right, here's a big one. So we got Bowser, just incredible looking figure. I love the size. I love the paint. I love the bright colors. He really, really stands out. I love the yellow. I mean, even the pink in the mouth. You can see his red eyes. Very nice. Really digging the color. Of course, he's got the spikes on the back. Uh, I will say there is some paint issues, so right there I don't know if it's paint issues or I don't know what's going on there but you can see some black and you can see where the, the it's starting to split a little bit which kind of concerns me but not really that much but again it is it is something to talk about and I think that's really the worst of the paint defects I don't see anything anywhere else um, yeah other than that Paint looks really clean, really solid, even on the back with the white and the red for the spikes. So, all right, let's kind of get into his articulation. So, head doesn't move at all. You can kind of wiggle it around, but doesn't really move. Arms move out this far and this far, and they do, they are on kind of like a cut joint, so you can rotate them around. But that's about all you can do with them. And then they do move a little bit forward and a little bit back. Not really much. And the hand 
does the hand rotate or oh, so I don't know. It looks like the hand rotates but or it looks like the hand kind of swivels in and out but it looks you can see I don't know it looks like I maybe broke it a little bit so just definitely use some caution with that. The legs are just on cut joints so you just kind of swivel those around they don't really they move they wiggle around but you can't get them in any other kind of position and the tail swivels side to side so overall uh really cool figure really nice looking bowser really love the size uh, i got him for my smash my smash bro shelf and i think he's just gonna look amazing on there i'm really happy with this figure and if you're a mario fan if you're a nintendo fan or if you're a smash brothers fan then I really, really recommend you get this guy. Uh, especially get him while you can because he might, down the road, he might become hard to find again. It's hard to say, but save yourself the headache of having to look for him. And just go out and get this guy right now. But that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did... Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Of course, feel free to thumbs down the video if you didn't enjoy it. But I, I hope you did. I, I hope you did. Uh, social media links in the description. They're always there, guys, if you want to come follow me on social media. Not that you have to, but if you want to, I'll put those there for you. I'm not super active in posting on social media, but I'm always happy to chat with people and so anything like that so like i said feel free to hit me up on social media make sure you check out the sanctuary on youtube and facebook and check out clickbait on youtube and facebook and that is it guys thank you so thank you very much have a great day and i'll catch you next time with another figure review and bye